What is up guys, today we are making another video on the new Mystic set. Yes, the new Mystic set with these cards inside of it. Right here. And we are going to be doing that today. We are going to be talking about who is good, who is mid, who is bad, who is this, that, and etc. So, today... And we also level 40, so be honest, do not be shocked if you may see a little bit of KG gameplay. But all these I haven't played with every single one of these cards, but I've played with as you can see about half of them. And I'ma give you my full Um thoughts on these cards. And I I'm, I'm just gonna say it now. There's not one card on here that's bad. You cannot go wrong with any of the cards that's on. Here and I'm gonna rank them eventually all. And yeah. The worst card in the in the set, I should say. I'm gonna say Sim Bowler is the worst card. He is not a bad card either. This dude is three seven five three sixty, that's a huge man. And he could definitely uh be a paint beast. And a good defensive player. I mean, he's not like last year. If you remember his uh, fan favorite, where he was just popping threes from anywhere. But he's definitely a very, very good uh, budget center. Um, how much is he? I'll tell you if he's worth it or not. Charlie, not high up. Oh yeah, eight hundred. So if you're on PlayStation, you're about looking at 750 for Sim Butler. He's the worst card, but in my opinion, but he is definitely a W in this set. And then Troy Daniels, um, he is, you know, I'm just going to rank, or I'm just going to tell you if they're worth it, if they're not worth it, and stuff like that. Troy Daniels is the next one. I pulled them in an actual pack and in a reward pack. And, um, definitely, Troy Daniels is insane, but it just depends on how much he actually costs. Yes, he's 750 also. But those two cards alone, they are insane. So, so far right now, W for Sim, W for Troy Daniels. And now let's go look at Isaac. Um, Isaac, I'm going to be honest. I was a little disappointed when I first played with him. Because a lot of people have been talking about his name a lot. But I don't think he's all that. But he's definitely a top player. And you know, if you know, if you've played 2K before, you know how Jonathan Isaac is in this game. And um, he's definitely... Okay, so you can definitely see he's a little bit on the higher end of these cards i'm gonna still give him a w though even though he's a little bit more expensive than uh daniels and uh sim he has he's if y'all ever played with the uh karolinko which i'm gonna go check how much he is oh hold on i am tripping i all right okay yeah. if you ever played with this diamond karolinko which is about 80 ish k 70 ish k he I will say it right now is better than him. Hold on. You can clip that. I don't care. He is taller. I'm pretty sure he has the wingspan. Uh, Karolinko definitely has the hoops on him. I will say that. But they both have the same thing. Uh, Karolinko is more of an inside player. But if you want more of an outside player, definitely uh, Isaiah is it. And he has, a, he has an iffy shot. But he could definitely play defense. And he could definitely is a good spot up shooter so I definitely recommend him now on to the rubies Del Curry now I haven't played with this dude I haven't played with him at all my phone just rang alright but I haven't played with him at all but I will say it his stats are insane Alright, Del Curry, of course, father of Seth and Steph. 
one's one of them, one of them like the greatest shooter of all time. Definitely an insane pickup because you know if you know if he's the son of Seth and Steph, you know what his three ball is gonna be. A 95-3 for a a player like this. And you can already see right here, dude. These badges are insane. Let me spot up circus threes, blinders, dead eye, sniper, clutch shooter. You need badges like that on a player, and it's absolutely insane. Next one, Wang Ching Ching. All right, I'm sorry. <laughs> If anyone's uh, offended towards that, I apologize, but dude's insane. Now, he's definitely going to be a little bit higher on the end. Not probably by much, though, but you will see why, and he is actually my starting center. Yeah, 1.3, you'll see why. An 89 three-pointer. This dude is 7 foot, by the way, 255, good wingspan. Dude is an insane rebounder, insane defensive player, and an insane shooter. Wang is definitely a pickup. All right, hold on. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go check some though. Can you upgrade? Oh yeah, I'm definitely upgrading. Little bit spot up on mine, and maybe intimidator. Um, the next one is OJ Mayo. 92 offense, 84 defense. And he's definitely, I know he's one of the cheaper ones because I got him for like an insane price. But OJ Mayo. I haven't played with an OJ Mayo card, I think, at all. Out of all the time I've played him by a team. So I really can't tell you much about his jumper. But he's definitely looking like a... Um, definitely like a bingo, yeah. Kind of like a bingo Smith player. If you downgraded him, but except he can actually shoot, and he's not as good as a dunker, but he's definitely really good. Also, now we're moving on into the amethyst. I'm gonna turn up my headset a little bit, so if anything just got louder, that's my bad. Dante Murray. Um, I do not know much about this card at all. I'm gonna be completely honest. I really do not know anything about. Murray, I know that his moments was insane, and that's really it. I mean, they kind of look about the same, both are like same like in uh, badges. Oh, well, the moments one. Okay, here we go. I haven't seen much of him. 85, 80, 92, 82, 93, 93. What about his defense? It's 89-90 um, silver clamps. I'm going to give Murray an in because, or it, it's basically all of your perspective on this Murray card, but I'm definitely going to give him an in. Definitely, um, what's his name? All these other players basically are definitely better than he is. Said maybe some, but Eddie Jones, all right, next one. He's definitely up there, and I haven't played much with him at all. But let's go check out how much he also is. Sorry if y'all are getting tired of me. Uh, the, maybe in the background here. Well, not even maybe. You definitely hear my loud PlayStation in the background. That's my bad. But um, we're definitely going to um, check out how much is Eddie Jones is. If you know anything about Eddie Jones in 2K, you know he's definitely a a spot like a spot up lights out shooter so he is definitely up there about 17k so now we're starting to talk about the big name prices no more like 900 or 9k or i can't talk 900 or like 800 or like a few thousands definitely talking about more of the bigger ones okay interceptor that's a really good badge he's also an insane shooter uh, 92, 89. Yeah, I'll say he's a dub. Eddie Jones, he's looking... I already know his shot's insane. From the years I've played with him. And his stats just look also insane. So I'll give him that. Next one, Dino Raja. If you know anything about this man... Even just a little bit. You know this dude's meant the 2K like. Robin. I should, I'm going to say that. 2K Robin. This dude. 
he has been like a very secret player I don't know how to say it he's been like a hidden gem any year that he's been in but this is the first Dino Raja that is an L which is sad to say because I even called it yesterday I was like Dino Raja 100% they did come out I'll say with you that but he's not good they nerfed his wingspan but like a, a whole bunch he used to have like an 8 foot something wingspan if I'm not mistaken now he has like a 7 foot 3 wingspan he's just not all that he's definitely cheap for his price I mean you could probably play with him but I'm gonna give him the L next up is Stockton I don't have this card but I do have the 75th anniversary one and this one is definitely iffy on Stockton. A lot of people love him. A lot of, well, not a lot. Actually, I'm one of the only people that I've heard talk about this Stockton card. And I can definitely see why some people may hate him. It just depends on his price, but I'd tell him he's a W or an L. Nineteen K. I'm gonna give him an in. I have him over Francis, which a lot of people hate me on. But hear me out. 93 three pointer, 90 ball handling, 95 steal, 93 perimeter defense, 96 speed and cerebral ball. So insane stats, insane defensive badges. And you think after you see that, you think he'd be like the best card ever. But his jumper is very, very weird. So, that's the only reason why I can see some people hating him. It's like really... What's this here? Yeah, we should make it a video. Huh? Huh? No, I'm sad I'm making a video like right now. No, not... Alright, sorry about that, y'all, but... Dredges Petrovic will be the next player, and this is definitely a dub. If you even just follow DBG, you know what's up. 97-3. Okay, ball handling. Good steal. Good defense. Good speed. But that... These badges don't need any explanation. That's all I have to say. He's definitely a massive W. Next up, James Harden. This is when we start getting into uh, the up there price. I'm just going to say that. Um, James Harden, man. This is a very iffy selection. Especially after that Petrovic hot take. Petrovic is definitely... I mean... Petrovic is the basically the best diamond in this game. I'm just gonna say it. Petrovic is the best diamond. There is no competition. Except maybe this man in clay. But for how much he is, he's a good card. Oh look, there's a 75th one right here. He's a good card. But I'm gonna say he's an L. Because I mean his AME was insane. And if y'all got this, hold on, this glitch one right here, y'all know also what's up. But look, they don't, they barely have any stat difference. Of course, Harden's gonna have the badge, um, advantage, but they're basically, like, kind of the same card. So it's like, would you rather, if you have that one, would you rather pay 80k for a card you basically have if you already have that one? So it's, like, it's kind of sad. Because you know Harden's, like, an insane, like, he's one of the best, like, lefty players. But I have to say, Harden is just not that good. I mean, he's good. I'm just going to say it flat. He's good. But for his price, he's not it. I would say probably like 50 or 40K. Then he'll be worth it. So, yeah, that means I'm going to throw an L at Harden. Definitely when you have a Petrovic that is maybe just better than him. And it's 50K cheaper than he is with letting the spot up and sniper on hoof. Next up, the big boy cards. Dry or uh, not Trison. 
Tracy McGrady is 600k. No card should be really worth it. So you can definitely expect some L's right here. So I'm going to say he's a tall shooting guard. Well, I would think people would run him at shooting guard. At least if it was me, I would definitely run him at shooting guard. Uh, that's just my way of playing the game. 93, 94 dunk, 82 steal, 86 defense, 90 speed. Good badges on him. Okay, I made a decision. Chase McGrady is a W. He's not worth it as much as he is when you could get someone like this that is almost as better as he. But he definitely has that height on him, and that jumper is magnificent. And the top card. Well, oh, I totally forgot about Hakeem. I might as well also do Hakeem, but you really can't check his stats. 800k, man. For Giannis. 73 ball or 3 ball? Yeah. Good junk, of course. Actually, pretty good ball handling for him. Good block, good steal, good de defense on both. Good rebounding, good speed. Good lateral quickness. Good badges. But I'm going to say it, his animation suck and that center spot ruins him. He is definitely an L for how much people were th throwing at him. So, it, I bet he's like one of the best cards in this game. It's just his animations... He's definitely a cheesy card. I'll say that. He's a cheesy card. It's just... For that price, no one should be buying him for that price. Except if he has, like, a high three. Or good. Um... Yeah. <laughs> That's basically all I'm gonna say. And also... Hakeem Elijah one. There's no way for me to check him. So I'm going to hop on 2KDB. If any of y'all know about that, you're a real one. If you don't, this is how you like see cards. Like early. Before they release. Alright, 2KDB. We're on 2KDB right now. And I'm just going to go check. Alright, 96 offense. 99 defense. Good height. Good wingspan. Good three. Good defense. Good rebounding. Good. Uh, not really good speed. That's the only thing he's kind of lacking. Good hoops. Uh, really good defense. So, I'm going to check his animations, even though I really don't know much about animations. Set 18, who has that? Marcus Hall and Vujovic. Okay, that's actually... They also have, like, really good shots, so... Uh, his jumper is going to be kind of like slowish. I can already tell. So, I'm just going to say this. If you have KG. Okay, I'm just going to say. This is definitely out. You should never. And I mean never. Never. Lock in for a set of cards. Because you never know. Sim Bowler could be gone for like 50k in like a few months from now. And just because you wanted this so mid player, you're not going to be able to sell him. And especially if you have KG, like I do, which, trust me, I'm working on it. Gameplay's coming soon. He's like, see, look, 96 offense, 99 defense. I literally just said that. He has about the same height, about the same three. The same defense, the same, well, he's actually faster. And about, like, the same badges, but he has better badges. I actually put catch and shoot, so that kind of doesn't count. But you understand what I'm trying to say. If you have Kevin Garnett, th he is technically a free version of that Hakeem Lige one. And that's the video, y'all. If y'all want me to do any more of these set things, if y'all, if one drops on Friday... Or we get a moments card or something happens. I will definitely be back. And if y'all want me to do gameplay on any Pacific car like John Stockton, Dryzen, Wang, I don't know, KG, 
Steve Francis and tell me if they're worth if tell you friends if they're worth it or not I'll definitely feel free to but I'm gonna I'm just gonna repeat it so w w w w w w n w l w in my eyes John Stockton's very iffy you could go either way no doubt Petrovic is the best card in the set just hands down Harden L even though he's really good McGrady dub Giannis L but yeah that's about it and like I said um Game will definitely be coming soon with uh, really any cards that y'all want. Just make sure to comment. And yeah, that's about it. Please comment, like, subscribe, do whatever. Just interact with the video and I'll definitely be releasing a video maybe tonight or tomorrow.